I am Torino Akin and I am your government whip. I welcome you all, thank you for coming. Now, uh, I want to share that my heart is weeping, really, of what happened. Yes, our soldiers did, did, did do a good job, but it wasn't enough. I would like to first start by refuting the member of ours, the member of the opposition. I say, he keeps saying that it's our land, our land, our land. Of course you enjoy your trips to Sharm el Sheikh, but are you not aware that we are not allowed to put, in order to put any forces into Sinai, we have to take the permission of the army. How can you call it our land? Does it mean so what? Ever heard of a political invasion? If we go to be keep living in the delusion that it's our land, then we will keep on. What's happened after 40 years of peace and Sinai? You, you, can't, you can't own a property in Sinai because of that. Now how can you keep calling it our land? Point of information? Yes. Um, is the government whip aware that I do own property in Sinai? You can.
the government has said, Israel want, uh, wanted to be acknowledged. They want to be made accountable. They wanted to be powerful in front of the world. And so when we went to that peace treaty, we went, we were looking down to the floor. All we want is a piece of land. But we lost, as the government has said, our Arab allies, where we didn't get into the Arab League for 10 years, we lost the respect of the Western world, where we went to the peace treaty, we got the allies that paid a really big ransom for that. And in that ransom, Sinai, on a paper, says that it's ours. But in reality, and that's what the Western world wants us to know, it's not. I would like to stop and say that a quote from my favorite author, C.S. Lewis, failures are finger posts to the road roads of achievement. If we think round those posts, we will not be able to go on, ladies and gentlemen. We will not be able to achieve what we want. If we do not admit our failures, how will we go to success? It's only failures that teach us to go on as the member of the government has said. I promise you, yes, it's heartbreaking what happened. But I promise you, if we admit what happened, if we stop living in the lie fed to us in the past 40 years where we celebrate an illusion 